Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, December 17th, 2021. Well, my goodness, there was a little bit of a disappointment yesterday. I mentioned the possibility of a pop and drop, and that kind of ended up being just exactly what we got on the day. Um, we're going to have kind of an interesting day today with not much data to go on to find inspiration in. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, my goodness, a um, little bit of a disappointment. That early bullishness yesterday turned into some bearishness with the bears coming around and fighting back just a little bit. Now, the Dow had the best of the day. Um, notice right in here on the Dow that we held this price support. We, um, um, the, on the Fed news, we held that price support and shot back up and we broke this price resistance yesterday um, on that gap up open. But unfortunately, it didn't hold throughout the day and we're seeing just a little bit of follow through selling this morning here on the Dow. But overall, um, there's nothing here to fear necessarily on the Dow except that possibility that well, maybe we could lose this price support in here on that chart. So if we were to see some additional selling and follow through, watch this closely. I don't think this could would likely get bad unless we fall under these support areas here in the chart. If we were to make a lower low now, that would be a technical break in the chart and probably signal um, a little bit of downside. So be really careful here, guys. A lower high in the market is never a good signal for upside move and raises that concern. And unfortunately, today we have that quadruple witching with very little on the earnings and economic calendar to inspire. So um, as we have that uncertainty heading into the weekend, it may be difficult if those bears really start to get feisty, it may be difficult for those bulls to defend. So watch carefully in here if we were to find some sellers. However, if those bulls do find some inspiration here or if they're willing to fight and we bounce off of these areas and push back up, well, a higher low is a higher low. And that possibility um, does always exist in the market. We can find something out there for inspiration. So keep an eye on that. But I got to tell you, um, I'm not feeling real bullish on the market here with that lower high coming in to the chart and a little bit of additional selling coming in as well. Now, particularly, I don't feel bullish when I take a look at the other indexes. SPY, this is another attempt where we tried to break out up here and we just couldn't get her done. And so we popped through, set a new record, and then immediately reversed. And if you notice right here, we broke that bullish candle yesterday more than halfway through, which makes this an, an official dark cloud cover um, on that chart. And this potential that we could have a failure pattern starting to produce itself here. Now, that being said, we still have to recognize that we have some price support in this chart chart that may try to hold that and we still have that little bit of hope of that upside trend holding as well. So watch this area right in here. If those bulls can hold on, if they can defend this area, we might be just fine and just be in a wide ranging chop zone that could chop us around. But I have that little bit of concern that heading into Friday selling could pick up and if we were to break this level right in here, um, make sure you uh, remember that might be a break of the 50 day moving average and that would raise certainly some, some concern here in the markets. And then as you guys have um, known, um, as I've mentioned over and over and over, what happens to the market if those select few stocks start to sell? What happens 
when QQQ turns lower. Well, we're starting to experience that now. These extremely elevated tech stocks are finally getting um, some selling. And as you can see, we rejected this resistance level in the chart, with leaving behind a bearish engulfing candle. And now this morning, we're seeing a little bit of follow through selling on that situation. So not exactly the bullish um, pattern that we would like to see here in the market. And unfortunately, we really have, um, if you want to call this an upside trend, it is a very, very shallow upside trend. Now, my concern for the day is that we will break this level of price support in here and that possibility that we could come all the way back down into here test that and possibly even break it today heading into the weekend just people getting out of the way of the uncertainty heading into the weekend could create that selling so watch that carefully now what that will create is a technical break here in the chart notice that that will be a break of that 50-day moving average and once we lose the 50-day then we run into that risk that we could bounce back here eventually hit that 50-day as resistance and then we continue to sink. So we have an uncomfortable pattern here, in particular on the NASDAQ, and we saw continued selling um, in um, tech shares, in um, Asian markets last night and European markets are seeing a sell-off of um, over 1.7% in tech shares. So a little bit of a problem going on here that raises some concern. Now, when we look at the Russell IWM, IWM also raising that concern because we are officially following this downtrend in the chart we had that good pop yesterday trying to break through nothing happened we slammed into price resistance and downtrend and reversed leaving another bearish engulfing candle in the chart and or in the indexes and my major concern here guys is if we slip if we were to break this level of price support that is a huge level of price support if we were to break that level, I want you to notice there's not a whole lot of price support underneath here of any strength. So if we were to sell here, um, this could bring on some heavy selling. So you want to watch that pretty closely if we cannot hold here on that support. Now let's take a look at that VIX. The VIX saw just a little bit of back and forth yesterday as we tried to gap up and we tried to break support levels in this chart. We tried and tried and tried, and uh, the Dow was doing its job, but the rest of the indexes just couldn't quite get her done. And we ended up um, closing up above that 20 handle again here in the VIX. And if we draw up this trend, now notice we broke that trend just slightly, but we, we reversed right back off of that. And selling today, could push this back a little higher. So for holding these support levels and hold, holding these trends and heading into the weekend, um, I can't rule out the possibility that if we start to sell, the bulls may have a real difficult time defending because of the weekend itself and people just wanting to unload um, and remove that risk heading into the weekend. So keep a close eye on this. If this spikes up today, that could be a little bit of a problem for us in the market. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 had improved pretty substantially in the day, um, um, day before on Wednesday. And yesterday we had just a little bit of pullback. So we're up here toward that mid range here in our T2122, which leaves us with that question mark. Because remember, T2122 doesn't tell us market direction. It only tells us when we've reached oversold and over, overbought conditions um, and um, tells us where those pressure points could give. But as you can see here in this chart being somewhere in the middle mid range, here we still have a pretty open side door to the downside if those bears were to get uh, feisty here and, and find inspiration and we still have a pretty good upside potential move if those bulls find some inspiration in the market however there are just enough things out there that i gotta tell you i i think the bears could win the day here today so be a little bit careful here in the market and what i mean by that is if you take a look at t2108 
doggone it, T2108 lost a little ground yesterday. We haven't broken the lows here just yet in T2108, but I gotta tell you, trying to set new record highs in the SPY yesterday with um, only about 25% of stocks above their 40-day moving average, 75% of their stocks are below their 40-day moving average. And notice that all of these tops that we continue to make here um, and highs that we keep making here, we're getting weaker and weaker response in the stocks all the way down here and we tried to make new highs. Pretty interesting um, in the market. So now seeing those tech stocks starting to give up here just a little bit, that could be a problem for us in the market. And then let's take a look at our T2107. Whoops. And by the way, guys, I get it. No one wants to. No one wants to see this stuff. I get it. I I understand. No one wants to hear bearishness, and I I certainly understand that. But hopefully, you understand by me showing this, it opens that, opens you up to that idea that I have to protect myself. I have to be a little bit careful. And hopefully, guys, you have been minding this information and protecting yourself in the market, because one day there won't be the buy the dip rally. Um, we will we will actually see buy the dip buyers rush in and buy and then we will continue to sell off in a um, in a true correction I don't know when that day comes but if you ignore things like this that's how you get caught in some serious traps and lose a lot of money now take a look right here t2107 the number of stocks holding above their 200 day moving average also slipped just a little bit yesterday we haven't fallen into the lows yet so still still some hope here but what we do see is we kind of rejected some price resistance levels here in the chart as this downtrend continues and as a matter of fact as you can see it's accelerating here in t2107 so watch that closely 36 percent of our stocks 37 percent of our stocks are um, holding above their 200 day that could slip a little bit more this morning as you see those bears continuing to push. Let's take a look at our T2101. And you guys know for a long time I've been mentioning that T2101, if we break that wedge here in the chart, the concern would be popping that wedge and then holding some area in here as price support. So far it looks like that is the case. There's no clear signal here yet. But if we were to see market breadth expand on a short selling wave, um, that could be problematic here for the market and could potentially signal um, correction possibility on the way. So watch carefully. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, not much here to worry us at all in the market. Notice we have um, a central bank roundup. We've got um, uh, a couple of Fed speakers today, blah, 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 nothing really happening there on um, that calendar to provide us any inspiration for the bulls or the bears. And unfortunately, if we look at the earnings calendar, pretty much the same here today. We have um, just a few companies verified here this morning that will be reporting. And I got to tell you, some of those are not particularly notable. Um, take a look, we've got um, a DRI, probably our most notable today. Looks like they have disappointed this morning, um, moving in this downtrend, failing, and um, looks like they're getting some selling here this morning. Uh, WGO, a little Winnebago action in here. Um, looks like they've had a little pop and drop on the day. Um, looks like that could be following this downtrend as well. Um, but we do have this uptrend, so that wedging pattern in here, if we can hold in here, that might um, might suffice to um, provide a little bit of price support in the chart. And then um, um, YCBD um, is on that, is a confirmed, um, is a confirmed report. Um, I'm not going to call this a notable stock in any way, shape, or form. 
um, on the day. So um, not much going on here on that earnings calendar to provide inspiration as well. So with that, everybody, how about we take a look at some stocks that might be setting up. But before we do that, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be helpful, I know sometimes on mornings like this it's just like oh gloom and doom kind of thing um, we get that pressure coming into the market and we hate it and I understand that but if we don't focus in here just a little bit on uh, some of these issues and uh, problems that we have in the market, we can really get ourselves hurt. So hopefully, guys, you find some usefulness of these videos. They've helped you protect yourself um, here in the market. And um, if that is the case, if you could click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who does do that. And also just a huge shout out to those that are supporting the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. If you're not a member of Hit Run Candlesticks or Right Way Options and want to help support this kind of content, just buy me a coffee. Now, I obviously don't use that for coffee. I use that to help enhance um, the 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 channel and um, the aspects of the channel. So if you guys um, want to help out that way, I truly, truly appreciate it. And so many people have. Uh, honestly, guys, you humble me every day. Let's take a look at the stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, do your own due diligence. Make sure you understand the risk of every trade and make sure Make sure you uh, follow your own risk tolerance. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Now, that being said, there are a few charts that I, th I still think are pretty interesting. Take a look at this VALE. VALE moving up here in this trend. It looks, it's a very nice pattern in this chart, holding this support level. We had a little push through yesterday to the upside, maybe a little bit of bearishness coming in on that chart this morning. Notice that we're up above that 50 day moving average. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. And we're starting to show that bullishness in here. So keep an eye on VALE. It's holding up pretty darn well. Now, um, take a look at CME. Um, CME continues to set up in this range here. Notice that I would be placing a, a stop loss under this little consolidating area. We've been running in this upside trend here and we'll want to watch that carefully. If this picks up, we could see that pop through in that chart and that might be an upside bullish trade to be taking a look at. Now on the bearish side, guys, there are a few things out there that I've mentioned that I still have some pretty substantial concerns on. Take a look at um, um, AMD. AMD, we popped right back up in that chart, breaking that downtrend and then reversing it yesterday. So I still have a pretty substantial concern that AMD could be a failure here. Um, that possibility that we could drop through that 50 day moving average on the chart. Watch that carefully. AMD, um, lower high, certainly not a um, comfortable pattern um, here to be looking at. Um, on the long side, you might want to take a look at FDX. Now, FedEx had a good earnings report last night, um, uh, and that possibility that we could follow through, looks like we're getting a big pop here this morning, breaking some resistance here in the chart, and that possibility that we can break on through these levels up here and keep pushing. So keep an eye on FedEx. FedEx um, coming back around out of this bottom, and maybe a potential chart for that upside move. On the other hand, um, take a look at Adobe. Oh my goodness. Um, Adobe really disappointed um, last night in its earnings report, um, sinking lower here, and that possibility that Adobe could lose some support here in the chart. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this short because your stop loss would be quite a long ways away in that. Um, um, but watch this. If this could rest and consolidate along this support area and then see that continued selling, that might be a good opportunity for a short. So guys, I'm going to suggest being very, very careful here. And one of the reasons that I have been suggesting that carefulness is because we just have a ton of stocks 
over in the defensive sector that have been gaining all kinds of energy. Now, if you take a look at MKC, take a look at PepsiCo, take a look at Coke, take a look at um, STZ, take a look at Mondelez, um, take a look at Kellogg's, uh, GIS, um, Colgate Palmolive, CLX, um, Clorox, defensive sector stocks brought in tons of money yesterday. If you take a look at consumer staples, XLP, continuing to stretch to the upside. Folks, this is a, this is a rotation by the institutions. The only way big stocks like this um, and old boring companies like this can reverse um, so strongly is that institutions are reversing. It's a rotation into safety. So be very, very careful here. These are the places where you can go look for some bullish inspiration, but many of these need a rest or a pullback before they would set up for good quality entries in the market. So watch them closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Be safe, be careful, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone.